All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Necronator Dead Wrong. This is a roguelike that I tried a while back, and I'm actually, I'm really curious if it's still in early access or if they've completed it at this point. I don't see anything about major patches. Uh, I, no, they had an ascended update back in October, uh, so maybe they're still working on it. I'm not entirely sure, but I tried it out. I liked it. It's like some parts deck builder, mostly just based on like what units you have, and uh, kind of auto battler. You send enemies out and they just fight things, and it almost kind of has like a oh gosh, it has like a tug of war feel to it. Sound effects are really loud, so I got to turn that down. I'm just hearing the, like, tick when that goes, and I bet that's going to blow up my ears. And also, apparently, the graphics settings are on low for some reason. I Why, I do not know. Anyway, new game. Special commander skin. Cool. All right. So I can play one of two different characters. Starting kit, seal and bones, relic. Uh, let's see. Give your units attack. Extra attack, but reduce movement speed. Or uh, increase max mana by 25 and creepy toys. Let's see, spawns some teddies. Frankly, I'm not big on the whole cursed girl vibe. So innate ability, reduce redraw cost and cooldown. Starting size. Well, I've never played as her anyway, so let's give this a shot. And there's an endless mode, but I don't care, and we don't want to do the tutorial. So let's just start. Okay, you open a letter and says, Congratulations, you've gradu graduated from the Undead Academy as a freshly certified villain. Prepare to embark on your very own quest for world conquest. The Academy hereby presents you with a soul spawn crystal. Please attach it to your arm, and the crystal will permanently bind itself to your life force. No substitutions or refunds. Well, Alpha go! Chew bats flock across the sky. One lands beside you, perching on a dead tree. Impressive, says the Chew Bat. You could be the next Necronator. You know about the Necronator, right? The greatest lord to dark lord to ever terrorize the world and lost his power a hundred years ago. Ring any bells? Anyway, luckily for you, I know how to reclaim it, and I'm currently accepting work as a consultant for aspiring tyrants. Why do you don't think I'm trustworthy? Just to show you I'm on your side, I'll give you a gift. Pick one. Jar of souls. A thousand souls whenever a card is upgraded. Or reduce mana cost for other cards in hand, draw two cards. I like Jar of Souls. Convert to fifty souls. That's just rude. Excellent choice is the Chewbat. Since you accepted my gift that makes us partners, uh, I always give the best advice. You won't regret listening to me. If you want to reclaim the Necronator's power, first you got to conquer a few towns. Defeat an enemy army or two, you know, just to prove you're worthy. I'm sure an up-and-coming scourge to humankind like you can handle it. Listen, says the Chew Bat. This will be like a stroll through the park. You killed everyone in the park and left chaos and destruction in your weight. Screaming peasants, smoking runes. I can already smell the carnage. Boy, this is wordy. You gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette, chirps the chew bat. Or as I always say, you gotta drown a few cucumbers in vinegar to make a pickle. Who doesn't love a nice crunchy pickle? And what villain doesn't love to defeat a hero? That's right, in order to fill the Necronator's shoes, you gotta defeat a hero. Get to it! Alright, so we got a path. Now, I don't remember... Okay, we got Rest, Merchant, Boss Battle, Elite Battle. And Unknown. Boy, there's a lot of unknowns here. I don't see much for... Uh, I guess there's elites there. But yeah, if I wanted to, I could just go... Mystery machine all the way up. All the way up. I'm curious what resting nets may. Comparatively. But yeah, we might want to just kind of mystery machine all the way up here. Snag this. And then keep rolling the mystery machine until I lose. <laughs> Alright, mystery machine it is. For those of you that might be uh, Slay the Spire players, by the way... There is a, uh, there's a point bonus that you get at the end of a run that I think might be called Mystery Machine or something adjacent to that. And that's because I pretty much categorically refuse to pick anything other than question marks for like two months. And the developers, uh, thought that was funny. Anyway, why would anyone want to live in this frozen wasteland, says the Chewbat. Chewbat, snow, 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 nothing but snow. Could the weather get more monotonous? Hurry up and squash these enemies. I need a change of scenery. All right, destroy the enemy castle, and they have a book. I think pickles are good for burgers, and that's it. I like pickles on their own. Gherkins are like a real good snack. Also, pickles in a tuna fish sandwich. Pretty good. Okay, destroy enemy castle. I don't exactly remember my gameplay, or how gameplay works in this. So, darkest enemy, stun, 
burning, draw two cards. Heal targets, spawn a Chonky Chonky. And a burning Bonnie. Wait, oh, are these traps? Yeah, it doesn't look like they fight. Yeah, so I'm effectively creating a small army of static units that just kind of chill. I, okay, that was weird. I was trying to use an ability, but it wasn't letting me. Yeah, so I guess I'm, I'm just... Oh, spawn a tombstone. Okay, so the tombstone just spawns skeletons on the reg. There we go. And yeah, I can summon these guys, who, as far as I can tell, are static units that they they will just hang out and fight anything that tries to come for me. Okay, this makes sense. I'm digging this. I'm actually really surprised this game didn't catch on more. It seems like kind of one of those really unique roguelikes that pretty much nobody else has, uh, has played. Or, you know, made anything even remotely similar. And, oh god, those are just some big bears. Why the hell not? Okay, I'm just gonna plonk a couple of those. <laughs> those big bears are, uh... Ridiculous. Dang. I was expecting something a little bit more, uh, reasonable. Oh. Is there where to change my spawn location? Or No, I guess they have to spawn from my, my starting point. Well, it's fine. I win the first fight. At least as far as catching on goes, I'm really surprised uh, more of my friends didn't end up playing more of this. Maybe they did and I just didn't notice. Let's see. So I can gain soul or draft a card. Uh, or no, I get both. Okay. So, Demon Mage, AoE range unit. Reduce mana cost for every other card in hand. Draw two cards. Or target's enemy. Does some damage. Slows them down. What's the upgrade? I don't know if it says. Whoops. Did I... Well, I guess I picked it up. It's fine. I... I don't know. Okay. Cat Burglar asks for your help. There's a vault in the Gorkish Bank over the hill, which could be a profitable to rob. But the Cat Burglar can't break the life-sucking spell in the vault. It's not easy to turn a dial with paws. Okay. So. Have a squad with 50 or more mana. Cost, open it by force. Gain a red gemstone. Or drained. So I can't get that one. Could gain 100 souls. I'm going to just go for the 100 souls for the time being. Convert to 100 souls. Yes. All right. You turn the dial listening to the tumbler's click. Your life force drains, but the door opens. Soon you're bagging stolen souls. Where's the cat burglar? And where's the red gemstone you saw in the vault? Oh, they're gone. All right. Uh, let's see. Remove rubble. Get demotivated, but get a random uncommon relic. Man, I need that higher tier squad. Used to be called the Cloud Spear Tower. Oh, I, if I had gotten the uh, the Demon Mages, I would have been fine. Anyway, used to be called Cloud Spear Tower, and a great until a great behemoth accidentally sat on it during the Great Behemoth Picnic 100 years ago. Legend has it that buried beneath the rubble, there's still an ancient relic. Uh, I'm gonna just go for it anyway. We'll just see what happens. The assassin assassination contract. The start of battle gives you units 50% critical rate for a little while. Okay. Your minions ship the, uh, shift the rubble. Loose stones topple down. By the end of the day, more than a few have become pancakes themselves, but they've uncovered a vault. You step inside holding a torch. Treasure gleams in the shadows. This is probably going to hurt more than it's going to help, but eh, worth it. Okay, so I can upgrade a card or get a screaming breastplate. I'm going to upgrade a card. Probably the teddies. Ah, here we go. Okay. So we can either get Iron Skin, extra armor when it's low, or 
Uh, definitely brutal te Teddy. Okay, so let's let's go this way. Yeah, because the other one is just like extra armor when its HP is low, which is just not interesting. This one, on the other hand, better. Uh, it's a good thing you're not uh, you're not the one getting souls forged into your body. You hold your nose when you smell the smoke. You plug your ears when you hear the screams. Might have to give these particular minions a raise. Wait. Oh, it's only gained 100 souls. I thought it was 1,000 souls when the card was upgraded. Well, is what it is. Free upgrades, or at least cheaper upgrades. Okay. Ah, it's just pinch yourself. So, you dream that you're swimming through the lake filled with leeches. Giant dream leeches bred by dream wizards and released into the dream wilderness. Nah, I'll take the damage. Hey, that hurt, but at least you woke yourself up before the dream leeches could, could do whatever it is the dream leeches do. A leech fight. Upstart, says Lord Balderdash. Villain too weak to stand the cold, not like me. I love the cold. This isn't even cold. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Don't you say I'm cold. I'll teach you what it means to really freeze. All right. So he's got some relics. A, a thousand would be way too strong. Oh, I know. I just misread it. All right. Well in hand, squad in hand, reduce. So I'll, effectively, I have to pay for... Well, as long as I have this, all of my units are weaker. However, that doesn't count for summons. Pop-up tombstone is really cool. I wish I... Oh, maybe I can. Ah, uh, I was really hoping pop-up tombstone would actually let me... Um, Let's see, pop-up tombstone, like I was hoping I could heal it, because that would actually be really primo. I can heal these, oh gosh. Well, there's the teddies. But yeah, these guys forged a, a shortcut. Big rude. Oh, and I can I can change the path. Okay, that's good. I was wondering about what that sign does. Obviously, this puts me in kind of a really bad spot for a lot of reasons. Yeah, I think I think I might straight up just lose here. Is what it is. Maybe not. Nope. Uh, I've been silenced and I've been defeated. It's okay. I don't really like that character that much. I'm sure I'll get used to her for, uh, used to her if I if I play with her more. However, I just don't like the cursed doll aesthetic. We're gonna go back to this guy. I don't know how to get this one. Reach level two with commander, the doll. Damn it! All right, whatever. Going back to her. Okay. So, draft a spell, upgrade a card, or just 200 souls. Let's start by upgrading something. Let's not go with the Build-A-Teddy, though. What about this? Spawn a Sneaky Tombstone. Gets me Sneaky Skeletons or Tough Skeletons. Hmm. Tempting. What else could I upgrade? We could upgrade just my basic units into Deadly or... What's the difference? So more base attack or just more movement speed? Uh, let's see, what about the other ones? I don't know. I think the pop-up tomb is kind of tempting. Let's go tough. Okay. And yeah, mystery machine after getting some good cards seems like the, the way to do it. Not nearly as clean of a mystery machine on this one, but frankly, maybe that's for the best. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Maybe we'll just go this way and then over here.
I don't like this map layout as much. Alas. Maybe I can do something interesting while resting. Oh, battering ram is so cute. Okay, and this time, there's still going to be signs, but I don't have to worry about it as much. I don't know, I think this game is really neat, from like a conceptual level and a gameplay level. Like, I, I love the idea of kind of an auto-battler that, yeah, largely just pay, plays itself in this specific situation. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much there. We'll build the teddies. I think I'll have enough mana for it. Yeah, especially with both of those rolling. And, neat part is, build a teddy. Uh, let's see. Build a teddy actually works really well because I can summon wherever I want. Alright, redraw. Now, do I wait until I have 70? Sure. Okay. Summon, summon the Shoggy. Summon that. A lot of defenses. I think the other guy was better at just summoning attack units. Oh, why did I spend money on that? Like a fool. A little bit late. There we go. Uh, I think the teddy bears will be fine. Kind of. At least they'll have reinforcements sooner than later. Oh good, there's a fast mode too. Big appreciated. We draw. There we go. Now we got it in the bag. Yeah, having those curses was actually more of an issue than I thought it was going to be. Draft a card. Add... no. Target's path, spawn a toy castle. Toy castle spawns toy soldiers. Every five seconds. Or just an armor breaker. I'm gonna go for the toy castle. It's kind of expensive, but if I can upgrade it, I'll be happy. Now, choose. Okay, so we can rest, remove a card, or just upgrade. What are the upgrades here? So, Master Toy Castle lasts for 30 seconds, spawns two so toy soldiers every three seconds, or the Adept one. What is the di Oh, I see. This only triggers once, whereas I can use this a lot. I'll go with the Adept one. Okay, so resting is actually super nice. Because it just gives me free upgrades. I should probably upgrade some just like raw units. But there we go. This looks interesting. It's pretty good. I'm I'm actually super digging this. We might spend some time on this one. The last roguelike was kind of okay. But this is one of those roguelikes that I truly have been meaning to play for a while. Very small map. Okay, let's see if I can get enough. I have Invigorate and a bunch. We also have the Chonky Chalky, but I think I'll just wait. I'm just gonna get the both of those. Let's see if it's... Uh, oh, it did actually spawn some units in. Well, I guess let's go build a teddy. I mean, we're already winning. There we go. Get the soldiers up. I like being able to summon units here as opposed to just using them as a troop. They go really fast. 90 seconds. It was a small map. And small maps are good for me. Soul and draft a card. We want a big unit. Give squads in your hand extra attack. Rally aura. 
I know there's the explosive Fletcher. Oh, but it's... This is, I believe, considered a rare? No? Why's it got a... Why's it got a golden border? Oh, well, I guess we're just going with that. My mistake... Is what it is. Well, I guess now that we have a unit that has at least 50, let's just do these. Okay. We're headed to this uh, cemetery for this week's episode, ladies and ghouls. Our undead consistent will have a chance to choose one gravestone, then dig it up. What will we find underground? Maybe a fabulous prize. Step forward, step forward, and survey the graves. Which one do you think has the prize with the greatest value? Grave number three. No, wait, hold on a minute. There's a twist before our faithful grave diggers get to work. Uh, we could just get souls. Nope, give me a random prize. More teddies. I'll take it. That was probably a wash, but that's okay. Is there a meta progression system in this one? There are unlocks, um, but I don't think there's a... Or each character has an EXP bar. I think some have... Some of the levels give you perks, but for the most part, it's just unlocks. Our favorite obstacle course is back for this week's episode, ladies and ghouls. Will our undead contestant choose to run the nefarious gauntlet, risking life and limb for a glorious prize that maybe, but probably, maybe, hopefully waits at the end? Sure. Run the gauntlet. Pain's the name of the game. Wait, that's not right. The gauntlet is the name of the game, but it's going to inflict penny, plenty of pain. Are you healthy enough for this challenge? Ready to lose a few gallons of blood? Let's get started. Sure. Just shake that snapping turtle off. Don't mind the flamethrowers. You can make it. There are 21... Or 22 landmines up ahead. All right. Now there are 21. Watch where you put your feet. Okay. No matter what, don't stop dawdling. You'll only encourage the piranhas. And don't swallow the water. It's not water. Observe our undead contestant precariously balanced on a tightrope above a bottomless pit. So, injury, exhaust, not a big deal. And we get a spirit cutlass, which I don't know what it does. Whenever a player plays a squad card, spell cards in your hand cost three less mana until they leave your hand. Ooh. That's actually kind of good. And I guess let's go up. Because we, we want to visit as many of these resting spots as possible. Uh, eh, yeah, because we don't need extra stores. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. Now it's this guy again. Last time he kicked my butt. This time, I hopefully we'll have an easier time of it. Now here's the problem. Oh yeah, they can attack me from both sides. Frankly, let's just start with the Fletcher. I'm going to slow it down until my dudes start attacking. What I was looking for. Okay. And now build a teddy is at least slightly cheaper. It's going to take a little bit. Now, I'm going to have to flip this, unfortunately. Hello. There we go. That there, I'll let those guys go for it. Unfortunately, the flag bearer in retrospect is not the most useful thing I could have picked up. Is what it is. At least we've got another build a teddy. Okay, let's send him out. It's gonna take a little bit for him to get anywhere, but still. Yeah, the turrets are kind of an interesting system. I like them. I think I will generally prefer playing as characters that are much more troop focused, just because I think you can do more with that. So is this a card-based tower defense system? Uh, 
less towers and more tug of war. Uh, which is actually kind of neat. Oh, well, there goes the rally boy. It's okay, we win. Oh, they've got snowballs. The enemies attack with snowballs. Probably with rocks in them. I would be surprised if it was anything else. Oh, the gold aura means it was upgraded. That's what it was. Thank you. I bet that battle warmed you up, says Lord Balderdash. Pathetic coward, need a battle to warm yourself up? I lost because I didn't need the extra body heat. It's my choice not to feel my toes or my nose or anything. Okay, souls, draft a card. Okay, Freezing Freddy, static unit. Let's see. Targets friendly units. Extra attack, extra attack speed, but stops them for a while. Or just a meteor strike. Eh, I'm gonna just skip these. And draft a relic. Sapphire Manor. So 25 mana at the start. Utilities cost less in shops. Or mana regen when you have 50 mana or less. Let's go with the bloodied rag. I'm not actually sure if that was the right choice, because I think it was the least rare, but seemed useful all the same. Okay, and what do we upgrade? Well, I could upgrade this boy. Not actually that useful, because unfortunately I don't have a whole lot of squads in my hand. I still haven't used the toy castle, have I? So do I want a tough... Oh. Tough, ominous Augie. Cannot be attacked. Or there's the brutal one. Last... Oh, they're both untargetable. That's an option. Otherwise, we go for the brutal build of teddy teddies. Let's see. Do their statistics get a little bit better? I don't know if the HP does. This one has armor, plus could get more armor. Maybe I do want the tougher armored teddies. I guess we have two, so we might as well go with both. Okay, onwards! And it's interesting that the enemy has relics too. I like that. It kind of makes it feel a little bit more balanced. Survive for seconds. Oh boy. Okay, so they're they're stopped by a rock. Enemies are kind of aggressive. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to take some damage here. Okay, get the redraw. Get the shoggy. Okay. Switch him. Oh, that's also untargetable. Okay. Well, this is why I've got some defensive structures. I'm going to put that there for the time being. Nope. Magic hammer. Oh, wow. Those sheep are actually pretty weak to that. Good to know. And yeah, let's get another armored... Uh, let's get the armored teddy along the way. Yeah, that castle was actually a really good idea. Yeah, survive. Who survives? I fight. There we go. 
The castle actually might be immortal, though. Well, that's a tragic shame. Okay, looks like they've got a number of sheep. Let's just redraw instead. Summon that. Express delivery. I'm just gonna summon Gooners. Die, sheep, die. I really wish I could attack their castle back. It's a little odd that uh, I have to survive for time, but it won't let me just win. Well, it's okay. I understand why it is the way it is. On the plus side, I can just dump endless units on both sides and just not have to worry about it. There we go. Victory! Yeah, so the defensive structures are actually way better than they gave them credit for. They rip through enemies and they're pretty cheap. Okay, draft a card. Demon Blade has stealth. Untargetable while not in combat. That's uh, okay. I'll probably just take the souls. I'm ready to go shopping. Eventually. Okay, an undertaking undertaker is complaining. It's been such a slow week at work. Hardly any bodies to bury. They kill to get a little bit more activity. I kill your minions, or you could kill some. Just as long as fresh corpses get made, they'll compensate you for a favor. Okay, portal HP, random epic squad, a random rare, rare relic. I'm gonna go for the rare rare relic. Mask of the Rager. Units gain the enrage ability. Ooh, they just get stronger when they're low. Undertaker riffles through the coffins, probably rifles, pulling out old bones and file uh, and old bones and new ones. Ah, here it is. They hand you a relic, but not before blowing the dust off. Further upgrade. I don't care too much about resting. Uh, let's see, static unit. These are both untargetable, so we want to get this guy. He's our blocker. Tough or armored. So, one has armor 5, but less HP, and gets more armor. This one's just has more HP and has regeneration. Well, that's not even a question. Horror for magical books all night long. Yeah, same, same deal as usual. Mysteries. Okay. Although the noise is off, they've done a good job illustrating your face for this wanted poster. Oh, nose is off. They've done a good job illustrating your face for this wanted poster. Too good, in fact. Now you're surrounded by professional bounty hunters. Fight! How can anyone take you dead or alive when you're already undead? Maybe dead and alive. Meaning the same thing in your case? Eh, it doesn't matter. These bounty hunters won't be taking you anywhere. Alright, so they've got extra attack per level. Armor per level. So, tougher, but no biggie. I mean, maybe Biggie. We'll see. So, I'm gonna wait until he spawns stuff. And then I'm gonna put these two here. Oh, are they going to start hitting that barricade? They might. Oh well. That barricade is just going to be, uh... Mine. I'm curious about how the duration works. That maybe duration is based on their HP, and that give it, having this guy with regeneration means that he'll just be there perpetually? I could be wrong. But if that turns out to be the case, I will be a happy camper indeed.
Hello, sirs. Welcome to the Teddy Town. Population, you're gonna die. <laughs> Cause yeah, if this if this guy does not expire, then I can just leave him on a path and he'll just sit there. Oh. I guess that's a little rude. Well, whatever. I think I win. Yep. Welcome to the Build a Bear workshop, filled with all of your worst nightmares. Uh let's see. Armor breaker, ranged unit armor breaker. I'll live. Okay. Get an injury. Okay. Inipers is a god of temptation, deception, and death traps. His idol is a blue gemstone embedded in its forehead. One of your minions helpfully suggests that you could pry out the blue gemstone with a knife. What could go wrong? I an injury, but also a blue gemstone, which does what? Give units extra HP. Sure. Okay. Fool, you've fallen for my trap. I'm the god Inapurs. It was a good trap, wasn't it? Never suspected a thing. Now you must pay the price for your meddlesome misdeed. Eh, let's just have him disarm the trap. You've disarmed my trap. Impossible. I'm a god. What are you feeding your minions? Steroids? Fine. Take that worthless gemstone. I've got a million more where it came from. Just attempt gullible adventurers like you. Now be gone. I banish you from my sight. And that's why I picked up the, uh, the banner man. I didn't care, care about his effects otherwise, but... Just having him as kind of the, uh, well, the multi-tool to deal with events. Anyway, I'm still not cold, says Lord Balderdash. In fact, I'm even warmer than the last time we fought. Roasting, I don't need to go outside. I've been standing out here for a week. If you call this cold, you'll never survive the winter. All right. Should be fine. Hey, thank you, Blaze of Ice, for the 34-month reset. Resub. Yeah. Necrodad. Well. Oh boy. This level looks dicey. Question mark. Huh. Okay. I'm going to go this way. I guess it depends a little bit where they're going. Okay, they're going this way. I'm going to put her there. The big issue is just baseline. My stuff's kind of expensive. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I want to get the Adept's Toy Castle on the backside. They're going to break the barricade. The bears are going to break the barricade. Let's redraw. Draw some cards. Do some defenses there. Okay. So these guys are actually pretty tough. I was expecting worse from them. But I guess I didn't need to. Get them, toy soldiers! Wow! They, um... They're kind of hyper-aggressive. I love them. Like, there's so many of them, too! <laughs> Frankly, I'm just gonna give him a flag bearer for the time being. Look at him go! I... Okay, I was mixed on this. I'm digging it more. I... Would love to see a build... Oh, no, I don't know. I'm fine with... I'm fine with how it is. I was going to say, I'd love to see a build that is even more focused on spawning structures, but I guess I don't really need that. This is just... This is just mean. Ooh. Especially with that in play. Heck yeah. Get him! Look at him go! <laughs> All right. Now that you've won, you probably want to burn down a castle, says Lord Balderdash. Because you're freezing, you need the heat. Go ahead, warm your hands by some puny fire. I prefer when my fingers turn blue. Sure. Draft card. 
Budget Wrath of Augie. Thousand damage, very large area, exhaust. But cheap. I might just grab that. Because. Cleric's Robes. Whenever you play 10 cards, cards in your hand cost less mana until they leave your hand. Squads cost 5 less mana if you have less than 80. Or. All of my units gain iron skin. I think I'm going to go Cleric's Robe. 